Hello my friends, how are you guys doing today? Hopefully everybody is alright this Sunday. Uh, I surely am because I'm really happy. The last two days I was uh, recovering data from disk and I managed to recover 95% of data. So uh, yeah, now I got time here to make another video and what we'll be covering today is actually Intel Arc Game Enhancer. What basically this... Um, software does is actually implement DXVK, so a DX Vulkan engine, to the games that are listed all here. Today we'll be trying Black Mesa and while we are at it I also have Portal 2, so uh, let me quickly go ahead and uh, download this game as well. So we can test it out and see if actually we get any performance improvement by implementing DXVK into these two games. I heard Witcher 3 was also working okay, though with the latest update when we tested before in the video, I don't think you need this uh, implementation there because it now has DirectX 12, so all good there. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let me quickly uh, launch here uh, Black Mesa and uh, first let's test out and see how it works by default. So just you download the game and press play, go into the settings just like I will do right here. Let me quickly turn off this uh, display overlay because I can't see anything. Anyways, uh, here in the video we are going to set it to the full screen. This is. Uh, it's not that old because it was remade not long ago, but uh, let's use 4K because I think uh, Intel Arc A770 can easily run this game at 4K, huh? what do you think? I think uh, you will see and be impressed and also a bit disappointed. <laughs> you will see what I mean by that. Uh, but uh, yes, uh, I'm not sure why some shadow quality was recommended off. Um, let's just set this to max setting, ultra, high, so we have everything to the max. Oh, and uh, we can actually turn off anti-aliasing, right? Because we are running 4K, at 4K you don't need anti-aliasing, so... You turn that off to gain a bit of extra performance boost and uh, yeah. Uh, let's quickly go here. Uh, I think uh, Xen level is quite demanding, so uh, let's just uh, start chapter 15 and uh, see how Intel RK770 performs in Black Mesa. Have you played this game before? I finished it two times, especially, but uh, I finished Half Life more times, so <laughs> I can say it's actually a good remake, but this uh, Xen level and uh, the pro, the later levels, they are. Uh, for me, they are kind of stretched. I got used to the quick save of each level on a normal OG Half-Life. But uh, yeah, see, we are getting about uh, 100 FPS here at this intro scene. And it's rendering 99% graphic usage. Oh, and once we are in game, we drop to about 60, 55. Oh, talk about the disappointment I said before. Look at this. What? hell is this we got some black textures over here oh why is th why they are not loading i'm not sure i tried to set everything i will also you will also see in this video when i will change some graphic settings because i thought there were some problems with some settings but uh no it actually uh, had uh, black textures on these rocks and i'm not sure what could be the issue here so uh, if anyone has any solution for this, uh, let me know. I want to play this on Arc as well, but uh, if it will look like this, I'm not really sure if I will be doing so. The performance seems fine. I would actually be playing at 1440p, so uh, if we're getting uh, around 100 FPS at 4K, 120, 130 in this level, I think the graphic card should hold just fine, but uh, see this, uh, for me, it's a uh, game breaking, these black textures, and look what you can see through walls now, oh, what the hell is happening over here, oh my god, anyways, uh, yeah, it runs okay, you can expect 60 FPS, so it's 4K, but the textures are broken, so, uh, why don't we kill ourselves here, poof, and uh, let's try and uh, do the DXVK implementation now. So uh, 
All you gotta do is actually open up the uh, Intel Arc control, uh, this game enhancer, which I will do just now, see here. And uh, what you need to do first is go to Steam settings and uh, disable this. Uh, we go down here, more down here, yes, uh, shader compilation. You need to disable this if you want DXVK to run okay, especially if you do with this software. So, uh, yes. You just press install DXVK and uh, select the directory where your game is. This, uh, in this case, Black Mesa. I selected it here. It says it installed without issues. So uh, yeah, that should be it. Uh, let's uh, click on play and see uh, what happens now. If uh, this will work any better. As you can see, we now have Vulcan over here. But, uh, yeah, some stuttering when loading into the game. This is normal because it's probably compiling something. Uh, okay. Wait. Wait. Where's the menu and stuff? Oh my god. What the hell is happening? What is this? There's no menu. <laughs> <laughs> I managed to start here the game uh, to uh, first level. I'm not sure how, I just pressed Alt and Tab to go out and then back in and I pressed Alt plus Enter. So I get it full screen and for some reason it started the first chapter at Black Mesa. Well, at least we are in game now, so uh, let's see if we can change now the quality settings now. Uh, 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 what? Uh, no, no. This uh, DXVK does, uh, doesn't work, at least if you just implement it with drag and drop or with this program. It just doesn't work. So, uh, yeah, I recommend you to use the stock uh, DirectX uh, 11 it is, I think, or 9. I'm not sure which one they are using. Uh, and just use that. It works, but the textures are broken. I decided to actually download the latest version of DXVK here and implement uh, all the DL else into the folder but i think the program has also the latest version so i doubt this will help uh, but uh, let's test it out and see let's quickly play here start black mesa and uh, oh we got uh, intro screen now it's uh, a bit better than before progress maybe progress black screen let's wait oh no mm, no this will not do this will sadly do not do fine uh, and uh, yeah <laughs> i will try and figure out what's happening with the textures and post if some, nobody else will figure it out by then but uh, let's go and try portal 2 maybe this game will work what do you think let's quickly launch here and do a quick uh, test run obviously we go to the options we are currently using direct x9 uh, as you can see at the top left corner uh, let's quickly set here to 4K. Uh, wait, no 4K? Why, why is this? Okay, let's um, first go to the advanced settings here and uh, change some options. and aliasing, filtering mode. Okay, put everything to the max. Uh, vertical sync, we don't need that. Uh, input delay, well, who needs that? Oh, look, we got multi core rendering in Valorant. That wasn't available. So well, I'm not sure what gives. I will also check that. I saw in the comment that someone said that uh, multi-core rendering wasn't enabled. Actually, it also wasn't in my videos. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> uh, full screen fixed the issue here. So now we have 4K and uh, let's go quickly here. New game. Let it load inside. Uh, GLaDOS is uh, here in the rubbles, uh, chilling, uh, hoping that we come to him uh, or to her. It's a machine, so uh, yeah, if you played Portal, I'm not sure what to say. <laughs> Anyways, we are here in the game now inside, and uh, look, the frame time graph is really smooth. We get about uh, 200 FPS at 4K Portal 2. Of course, I was expecting this. Um, the performance will be fine, it's an older game, but a really good one. So if you haven't played Portal and Portal 2, I really advise you to do so because um, it's a really, really good game. Uh, anyways, we are getting about 185 FPS when we stand in this corner and watch through the room. Uh, later on, I will also do the same with DXVK and see if we get any better performance. But let's just run around. We can see frame time graph is really smooth. Nothing's happening. So, uh, yeah, you can see in this corner we get about 207 FPS when we watch there. But on the other we got 185. So, 
let's go now and implement the DX we came to Portal 2 and uh, see if uh, Vulkan uh, implementation rendering engine or what shall I say helps uh, with the performance uh, in Portal 2. Let me quickly check here, go to options, uh, video, okay, settings stay the same, we got 4K, everything is to the max, we got the Vulkan running now, which uh, implements, I mean, uh, indicates that uh, DXVK is working just fine. So let's go here. New game, the court call. Let it load and uh, we shall see what's going to happen now. What do you think? Do we get a performance boost or no? I would say probably in this game, maybe a few FPS. But uh, if you get 200 FPS average, I wouldn't really bother. But okay, okay, see, we are now here at averaging 225 FPS, which is a bit better. Okay, 210. Let me quickly go into the corner. But uh, yeah, as you can see, when I'm quickly moving the mouse, the frame time graph is going up and down, spiking, stuttering. Which, uh, if this doesn't get fixed, I'm not sure. Huh? But here we are in this corner. But, oh, look at this. We got about a 15 FPS boost to the performance when using DX VK in Portal 2, which is uh, good, but I'm not sure if I would actually sacrifice it for the stuttering that this uh, implementation induces when using it in Portal 2. And here, as you can see as well, around 20 FPS more. Wow, okay. I will test more DX VK, maybe make a future video soon, but uh, until then... Uh, Stay safe, have good time, uh, and uh, enjoy your Sunday. Hopefully you like this video, make sure to subscribe and like, and maybe ring the notification bell, so you know when new video will come out. Yeah. Anyways, see you in the next one. Uh, peace out. By the way, I will try to do one day one video again, hopefully. See ya.